Hey y'all, this is Ramblin' Chris. Today we're going to talk about how to replace a broken clutch cable. Now on my clutch cable, when I try and pull it out, see it just springs right back in. The reason for that is you have this adjuster here, which is used to make sure you have tension on the lever of the cable so it doesn't spring back in. Now some, over time, this will commonly loosen itself and then it will start to spring back in. So what you are able to do is just simply tighten this up, which you may not be able to do by hands, in which case I will commonly use a pair of channel locks. And then you just adjust it until you get just enough tension on it and then it will stay out. In my case, that wasn't the issue. My issue were the plastic threads that this tightens on, they broke, which is a common issue as these get older. So now I have to replace the entire cable. I was looking for one to see if I could find one that has metal threads so I wouldn't ever have to worry about this again, but it seems nobody makes it. Now the first thing you're going to need to do is there is this 17 millimeter bolt on the back here that you need to loosen. And in my case, since the threads broke, that is not a necessary step. And I can just move on to replacing the cable. And see this loose, so it just pops right out. Up next, you're going to need to remove your air cleaner. So just take out the two bolts that hold it in. Just remove the cover the air cleaner with it. Next I'm going to remove the backing plate so I'm going to start with these three screws. And then remove the two breather bolts. And from there the backing plate comes right off. From here we can remove the carburetor. So you should just be able to give it a wiggle up and down while pulling outward and it should come out. There we go. Now your choke cable is attached right up here at the top. From here you can pull off the boot which will start to give you access. Then there's this plastic nut here. You just need to wind that off. It's likely loose enough that you should be able to just spin it right off. Threads are pretty fine, so it may take you a minute. There we go. From there, The whole end just pulls right out. With this end out, go ahead and hit with a little carb cleaner and clean it off. Reason for that being is some of these parts you're going to be reusing. Now is a good point to open up your replacement cable. That way you can see what all you need. As you can see, it's we have a cable and on this end, and that is all. On the other end, we have our nut and our adjuster, which is everything we need, but this end, we need to take a couple pieces from the old one. Here, you have just the ball. So at this point, you're going to compress the spring and the end will pull right off then from there go ahead and remove the spring your adjustment your 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 nut and then also get yourself the boot Now from here, let's reassemble our new cable. So start with the boot here. 
Go ahead and feed that through. May want to fight with you a little bit at first. If you keep your hand on the knob, that'll make your, it a little bit easier to feed the cable through. Once it's through, go ahead and push it in all the way. And there's the first part. Next, you put on your adjuster. Follow that up with the spring. Now, compressing this spring will likely be your hard part. But once you get it compressed, simply feed it in and twist. There we go, she's ready to go. The easiest way to get the cable through the motor is to install from the other side. Because this ends a lot smaller, a lot easier to get through. Then from there, you need to insert the end back in. Down here where it was originally. Get your end started. It should feed right in. And now the hardest part is getting this started. Being threaded so finely, you have to get the angle just right to get it started. Once you get it started though, the rest of this is pretty easy. All right, it's back installed now. This will be the hardest and the longest part of your job. Getting this put in has taken me about as long as the entire rest of this has taken. But it's smooth sailing from here. From there, but slide your boot back down over top. Snaps over real nice and easy. From here, you need to reinstall the carb back into the manifold boot there. It's going pretty nice and easy. Check your seal behind. Make sure it feels like it's in there. And now that she's in there, we are just about done. From here, we're gonna reinstall the cable on this side. So loosen the nut up here. And the lock washer goes on the other side. That loosened up pretty much all the way. Give yourself plenty of space to work with. From there, there's a couple grooves here, cutting the side, flat grooves. And those line up with the flat grooves. And the brace here. From there, you can tighten down the nut in the back. Finger tight at first to get it seated then from there you need your 17 to finish it out making sure you hold this up while you do that way it doesn't walk out on you Tighten up till it starts to get snug, because remember, we're dealing with plastic threads here. You don't want to break them. Now you can see from here, if we pull it out, you still get that same story. A springiness. But that's because we haven't tightened down the adjuster yet. Let's go ahead and start to spin that in. See, I did by hand. Now it's really stiff. I'm having trouble even pulling it out, so loosen it up a bit. I'm gonna pull it out, give it a little turn. See, it's still gliding in a little bit. A little more. Now she's staying out. She slides in and out pretty easily. Now from here, it's time to install the air cleaner.
need to install air cleaner. And my cover. Alright, let's try her out. Choke is out. Staying out. Now let's give this a try. All right, she seems to be working perfectly. Until next time, this has been Rambling Chris.